Hello guys, Aldu here and this is my long time review of the Samsung Galaxy A20s. I've had this device for over 6 months now and sometime last month I received the Android 10 and One UI 2.0 update. That brought new features on the interface. Dark mode was already present on One UI 1.1 but the new gesture of Android 10 made me forget about the navigations. There's this pop animation you get each time an app closes. To go back, you swipe any side of the display. Swipe from the corner to call up the Google Assistant button. This is much better because on One UI 1.1, you could call up the Google Assistant without knowing. Because if you tap on the home key for some seconds, Google Assistant just pops. You can now swipe the bottom of the display to switch between apps. You can also decide to use Samsung's default gesture, but why would you do that? The icons on the notification panel are now smaller, thereby allowing for more icons on the notification panel. You can now switch off your phone from the notification panel as well as use the quick panel layout to effect changes on the notification panel. Digital well-being has a new look and is more in line with what you expect from Samsung. It shows you the amount of time you spent on each app, number of unlocks and notifications. The device here has a new look as well. The One UI 2.0 is no doubt one of the cleanest UI on Android. As at the time I purchased this device last year, I got it for 52,000 naira, which was equivalent to $152. But right now, it retails for 77,000 naira, which is equivalent to $198. This is due to the global pandemic. The A series is Samsung budget offer, and the Samsung Galaxy A20s is no different. First off, the device has a solid build and is sturdy in the hand. It weighs 183 grams, and carrying it around won't be a problem. The back is made of a polycarbonate material, or Samsung prefer to call it plastic. What we have is a shiny plastic material in general. The Samsung Galaxy A20s has a normal looking design, not the gradient color combination that we are used to seeing recently. What I have here is black, and yes, black lives matter. Other color options include blue and red. It is a shiny phone, and when the sunlight hits it, there is a straight line that keeps going all the way to the top. Quick one, the phone is a fingerprint magnet and it doesn't come with a TPU case. Links in the description in case you want to get the one I use. At the top we have the microphone. Samsung moved the volume rockers from the left to the right one while the power button is on the right hand side. At the bottom we have a USB type C port, a headphone jack, another microphone and a down firing speaker. I love these speakers here because it's loud and much better than the one on the Samsung Galaxy A20. We have a triple camera setup with a flash. The fingerprint sensor is not far from the camera module and the placement is ok for quick reach. At the front we have an Infinity V display that houses a selfie camera. I'm not a fan of this display and I'll tell you why in a bit. The design of the Samsung Galaxy A20s is straightforward and simple and oh, here is the speaker test. The A20s has a bigger 6.5 inch screen when compared to the 6.4 inch on the A20. Samsung calls this the Infinity V display. There is a downgrade on the display because the A20 has an IPS LCD display. Viewing angles are not great when paired with the A20. The downgrade here is clearly to cut the cost of production. The screen has a resolution of 720 by 1560. Indoor visibility is great but outdoors you might turn the brightness to max and the display will still be awful when hit by sunlight. Although it is a big screen, games and movies are not that enjoyable. The device runs on Android 10 and One UI 2.0 is the interface. I explained all this earlier. One aspect that this device tends to surprise me is the performance aspect. It is powered by the Snapdragon 450 and handles daily activities nicely. Gaming is smooth, I play COD on the device and it runs fine, although by default, the graphics are set to low. I push the graphics to the highest and the game is still playable. Multitasking is also great, honestly, 
the Samsung Galaxy A20s performs greatly and if you are someone who loves having a budget device with good performance then the A20s is what you are looking for. The Adreno 506 is the GPU while the device has an octa-core CPU clocked at 1.8 GHz. The variant with me here has 3 GB RAM and 32 GB storage but there is a variant with 4 gigs RAM and 64 gig storage. You can also expand the storage with an SD card. The Samsung Galaxy A20s has a triple camera setup at the back and honestly the cameras are not so impressive. It comes with a 13 megapixel wide camera, an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. Up front, we have an 8 megapixel selfie camera. The camera is not the best out there but in good lightning condition, you will get decent images. Portrait mode tries to blur the background and produce decent shots. The ultra wide camera also does a good job with retaining details. Overall, the camera is not really great. The Samsung Galaxy A20s is a solid budget option. The only premium thing you will miss might be Samsung's original display. If you want a modern look, you might go for the Samsung Galaxy M11. And for better performance on the budget, the Redmi Note 8 is a good buy. If you haven't, please subscribe and see you guys in the next video.